Hello everybody. I'm in my barn tonight. It's Monday night. See, I'm surrounded by hay, which is rather appropriate because this Sunday, our scripture passages, which celebrate Christ the King Sunday, have uh, a couple of references to sheep and goats, especially us being sheep and goats. Well, we'll get to that later on with some of those passages, except tonight I'd like to focus on Psalm 100. Now, I know you're probably wondering, why am I doing this at night? And what am I doing in the barn? Well, I'm doing it tonight, Monday night, although you'll be seeing us on Tuesday. I'm going to give you a break from Testy Tuesday. I just might make it written exam Wednesday. We'll see what happens. But for now, consider yourself a little lucky. I'll get, let you off the hook. But it was one wild windstorm that whipped through our neck of the woods up here in western New York on Sunday afternoon. Just in time to knock out power and knock out the uh, cable feeds for the football games at 4 o'clock. But boy, when that swept through, it caused quite a bit of damage in our area. So what was I doing today on Monday? I was waiting for the tree crew to come in and first cut down all the trees that were laying across the wires that came down to leading to our house. Then I had to wait for the power company to come and make sure everything was all hooked up safely. Then we had to wait on the cable company to make sure that that was all back in shape. And it almost is. We have our, our cable feed in that back now, but we still have to have a little bit of work done. So, yeah, I didn't quite get anything done today and out there into cyberspace but i'm working on it now she will have this come tuesday morning so but back to sheep and all that sort of thing our psalm actually there's a couple psalms that we could use for this week one is psalm 95 the other one is psalm 100 let's look at psalm 95 it's one of a group of psalms called enthronement psalms they were ones that the people would sing especially I would say during the Harvest Festival is the best guess that we have, the, the Autumn Harvest Festival, when God would be celebrated as our king. You know, let's let's enthrone him. And Psalm 95 is, is kind of a cool psalm in that it does exactly that in kind of a, a two-step fashion. One is this invitation to come worship, and then one is, once you've been into the place where worship is going to take place, you would actually kneel down and bow down and worship God. And then the third thing that happens is ooh, a little interesting. Well, let's just look at it real quick. Psalm 95, it begins this way. Oh, come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise. Now, before we go any further, when they say, let, let us make a joyful noise to the Lord, they weren't meaning, yay, God, he's our No, it was like, shout the roof right off this house. That would be a better translation. Just let it all out. Belt it out. Pretend you're cheering for your favorite football team. And for some of you, it could be the Buffalo Bills. And for others of you, your favorite team. All right, shout it out. Let your, your lungs burst with energy. God is our king. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hands are the depths of the earth. The heights of the mountains are his also. The sea is his and he made it. And the dry land, which is which his hands have formed. Okay, so this is God, our creator. He is the king. You know, we don't need an earthly king. We have a king, our heavenly king. Let's come now. Let's shout it out and let's worship him. So the people would be singing this and reciting this part of the psalm as they're moving into the temple area. Now, when they get into the, the temple area proper where worship takes place, they would do the next part. 
O come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, our Maker. For He is our God, and we are the people of His pasture and the sheep of His hand. We belong to Him. He cares for us. He loves us. We are His sheep, and we entrust our lives into His very hands. And God does not disappoint. So, when we talk this Sunday about Christ the King, um, we're talking just about the one who not only made us, but who loves us and who protects us and who guides us. So, it's, it's kind of a neat psalm. Just put yourself in the place of those early Israelites, well, these would be the ones who had returned from exile now, and they're moving into the temple area first, shouting out their praises to God, and second, coming now and bowing down reverently before him. But this is where this psalm gets just a little bit weird. But let me tell you, it's not alone in that. There's a couple other psalms that do the same thing. Start out on a high note, then all of a sudden, hmm, here's something to chew on and to think about. Oh, that today you would listen to his voice. Do not harden your hearts as at Merida, as on the day at Massa, at the wilderness, when your ancestors tested me and put me to the proof, though they had... Um, I'm having a trouble reading in here. Though they had seen my work... For 40 years, I loathed that generation and said, They are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not regard my ways. Therefore, in my anger, I swore they shall not enter my rest. And that's how the psalm ends. Wow. It's as if you went into worship with a singing, and then you went in there and you bowed down and you had a prayer. And then the pastor gives up and gives you a hellfire and brimstone message. Well, it is meant to do kind of that. It's meant to make us think, why are you here? What is, what's really the intention of your heart? Is it just to, to sing and shout and scream out loud for a few minutes and feel good about yourself? Or is it to examine your relationship to God? Remember what your ancestors did back there in the wilderness after Moses as Moses was leading them out of Egypt to the promised land, how time and time again, they turn their backs on God. Do you want, is that what you're like? Do you want to do that? No, no, don't be like them. Be faithful. Have contrite hearts. Have hearts that are turned toward God and turned toward one another. That's what this psalm is all about. So on this Christ the King Sunday that's that's coming up. If you can make your way into church, remember, it is a joyous time. It is a time to celebrate who God is. God is our King. And when we say Jesus is Lord, we are saying Jesus is King of the universe. But it's also a time that we reflect on our commitment as individuals and as people corporately are we being faithful to what he has called us to do? Let's not be like those people who weren't. Let's be the ones who truly come to worship and to live like his people. Well, stay warm. Hopefully you made your way through the storm if the storms rolled through your areas. God's blessings be with you and have a great day.